Hello guys. Hello, hello. I got a couple things we're going to do. I just wondered if you guys would keep me company and ask any questions you have. It doesn't have to be pertaining to what I'm doing. Hi, Terry. Hi, Cynthia, Ashley, Kimberly, Tracy. Hello, everyone. I just got to grab the cord to my iPad. seconds and we'll get started. I guess you can hear the cricket cutting in the background. Okay. Got myself together now. Thought I was together and then the laptop decided it wasn't going to play nice. Now we have a, I have an order for a tattoo cup. Hi Taylor. Y'all you should go check out check out Taylor's um, YouTube channel. He has a great channel. Uh, Duncan Custom Airbrush is the name of his channel. You should go check him out. He's a very talented gentleman. So I have, I had to order another set of tattoos for this order that I have. Let's see if I can give you all a better view. Hi LaDonna. Is that better? Can you see better now? Look at how cute this tattoo is y'all. Hold on. I'll just show you what I got today. <laughs> I love the sound of the cricket cutting. It's a very productive sound. Alright, so these are the ones that came today. This one, which I think is going to be really cool if we color it in with the alcohol inks. It's going to look really cool. And then this one kind of sort of reminds me of like Japanese cherry blossoms. And then this one, which is kind of, um, oh gosh, I lost the word. Oh, I can't think of the word. Hold on, it'll come to me later. It reminds me of the TV show, like one of those little Japanese animes cartoon kind of yeah yeah and then this is the one we're gonna work with tonight that's gonna be fairly straightforward and then this pretty one here and I got all these from Amazon from that link that I shared in the group this one and that one I think that one's really pretty too. And then we have a cup we're going to do some painting on with our Pantheon paints. So we'll work on that as well. And then if you guys aren't too bored, I have like six cups that need resin. So we may go into the resin room and work on those. And then I have printed out some of my artwork from my Etsy shop. 
And we're going to do a vinyl wrap on this acrylic tumbler here. So, first thing I do is just kind of eyeball measure my tattoo. So, I want to get as much of it as I can on each side. So, we'll kind of do an eyeball measurement right there, maybe lift it a little right there. And so, we're going to cut it right there, right at that line. I don't measure anything, y'all, so yeah. Which one can't you wait to see? See if I could get you guys to pull up on the laptop. For some reason, it wants to be a pain in my butt. Oh, the vinyl wrap. Those are super easy, y'all. See if it's going to show me the comments on there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to mute myself. I don't want to hear myself. Alright. That way. Alrighty. Now, I've got to find my other rag. So I have my cup here, which has been painted. The base base layer is our Pantheon paint. Is it really pixelated for you guys? Weird. Okay, so this has just had as a base layer of our Pantheon paint on it. And I have to uncover some stuff to be able to do some stuff here. And then this is the first part of our tattoo. So the tattoos usually come in a bag. Sometimes they don't. This pack did not come in a bag. But um, look at these super cute gold ones that came in this. So it's like a bonus. Aren't those cute? I get distracted. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to get some water. Going to wet our rag. This is just a um, baby diaper. Don't worry, it's clean. Put that on our cup and make sure our cup is nice and moist. Then curl this around my fingers here and then line the bottom up so we know we're getting all the way around the bottom. Put it on there, hold it in place, and lay our wet rag on there. These are so easy, y'all. It's such a good, quick way to add. Thank you, Miss Tracy to add to your um, arsenal of cups. People seem to really like them a lot. This one right here I've actually sold 
3.3 of this one design. So it's popular. I'm just going to add a little more water. Now we know our paper's all wet, so we can actually just go ahead and go pull the um, backing sheet off. That spot did not stick very well. I'm just rubbing over it to make sure that it's all stuck. <laughs> That's good to hear, Donna. <laughs> yes, Tracy and Erica both love to lick the cups that they want. See how quick and easy that is? Just like that. And then we can rub across it with a wet finger to make sure there's no pockets or air bubbles. You just want to make sure that your finger is good and wet because otherwise you'll tear it. Sometimes I'll even use the wet rag. I'm just pushing any bubbles out. Super easy. So we'll just dry this side a little bit before we turn it over. Now, the other side, this is the, was supposed to be the bottom. But I know with this design that it looks better if we turn it. So I'm actually going to cut this name off of there because that will get stuck on your cup and you can't get it off. So instead of doing it like this, we're actually going to flip it so that this part is at the top. Don't forget to peel this protective sheet off of there because don't do what Christy did. Okay, now we're just going to stick this up at the top, sort of eyeballing it. And once you stick it on there, you can't move it. going to close this laptop because it's just annoying me. I won't keep up with comments so it's of no use to me. I'm going to add a little more water. Oh, Donna, bless your heart, honey. That's a hard job during a good time. Hi, Angelia. We're just going to do one of these tattoos, and then we have a couple other things we're going to do. But i got to get this one done because it's got to get some resin on it. And then I just kind of rub over this one. For some reason, this particular design doesn't want to always stick to the cup. So I want to make sure I'm holding the paper still up here so it doesn't move and just kind of rubbing it with my wet rag. And then we're going to peel the backing paper off and we're done.
Aw, thanks, Miss Tracy. I get so nervous, y'all. You have no idea how nervous I get before I live. It actually, it wasn't as bad tonight. Because I had Tracy and Erica cheering me on, but... Whew. And my friend Erin, she always cheers me on. But I get so nervous. I don't know why. It's like stage fright or something. Alright, so this cup is done. You're ready for resin. It's just got to, we just got to make sure it's nice and dry before we uh, put resin on it. It is easy, y'all. It's so easy. That was, a, that was like a commercial or something, I think. It's so easy. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just cold. So there's that one. Now I'm going to dry my desk up really good because we're going to do a vinyl wrap next. I did not design the tattoo. I bought it from Amazon. I do have a lot that I have designed, but that is not one of mine. <laughs> Alright, I need a dry paper towel. Because the thing with printable vinyl, the next one we're going to do is uh, printable vinyl. And this design that I'm going to show you is one that's available in my Etsy shop. <laughs> it's Taylor Fan Club. We want to make sure everything's good and dry because that ink is not waterproof. And if there's moisture on the desk, it'll um, mess up the ink. Donna, as soon as the cup is dry, you can epoxy it. If you go to Amazon and type in um, temporary sleeve, like sleeve of your shirt, tattoo, a whole bunch of them will pop up. And they usually come in like packs. Like this one, all those that I showed you a while ago all came together in the same pack. So this is one of those acrylic tumblers. And I was just practicing some techniques on it, and then I... <laughs> Angelica. Do you want to see me epoxy some? Is that not boring? I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> well, I can just take the camera in there. Puppy doesn't want you to see our turning room. <laughs> Take the whole thing in there. Alright, so I have two here. These are both from my Etsy shop. <laughs> you guys are funny. You're talking about licking the cup is not even done yet. <laughs> but I thought this one would be cool. But then I thought, how cool would it be to put this one on the cup and then use one of these, some of these gold tattoos over it. But I'm not sure if that would work because this isn't waterproof. Aww. <laughs> Erica said to tell you, please. <laughs> so... The thing about these acrylic cups is it makes a vinyl wrap so easy because it's mostly straight. There's really not very much curve to it at all. So basically that's all we're going to do. It's so easy y'all. <laughs> so what I do is I bring it like this just as tight as I can get it. Make sure all the parts are covered. You know, look right here where that curve is and look right here where that those two pieces meet <laughs> and then once I have it around there really really tight I'm going to get my little razor blade over here somewhere where is my razor blade? there it is Ooh, gold ink on there would be cool, wouldn't it? And then I have 
have it so that there's no cup showing through. Then I have my handy dandy. So I want to get it to a spot where they meet and they kind of overlap a little bit. And then I'm going to hold this up here to my paper so I have a somewhat straight line. <laughs> Y'all. And then we're just going to cut that vinyl. Just like that. Now I'm just going to cut it the rest of the way. Oops, that wasn't straight at all. Taylor's actually not far from me. We just found that out. Um, I have watched Taylor's YouTube channel for a long, long time. My husband and I both watch him because he's talented and he's funny. And he makes some really cool stuff. And we actually watched him even before he did Cups. And um, then I messaged him because I wanted him to try some of our products and found out that he only lives about an hour from us. Yeah, this is a plastic cup. <laughs> Yens. We used to say yuns. <laughs> so I'm just peeling back the edge of this vinyl here. And I say vinyl, not vinyl. <laughs> and then I'm going to like use my fingernail to fold that part down. Now there is a technique you can use where they do like soapy dishwater or something. I don't know. I tried it and I couldn't get it to work. So, and I'm just going to position this so that that piece is straight and roll it back on there. So now we have it attached. Yes, you do. That would be awesome. It's hard for me to call you Taylor, though, because I want to call you Duncan. You know, Duncan's custom airbrush. Now I'm just rubbing it really good. Make sure there's no bubbles. And then we're going to pull it this way and pull just a little more vinyl back and crease it again. And then pull the vinyl tight with this hand and roll the cup onto the vinyl, pushing down on the table. Then we're going to flip it over again, make sure we don't have bubbles. Okay, we do the same thing again. Flip it over. Pull the backing. Crease it. Yeah, that's what... They make it look easy. I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> so I was like, mm, I'll just do this my way. So now I'm hold, pulling my vinyl nice and tight and pushing my cup down onto the table and rolling it onto the vinyl. And then flip it over. I'm going to rub the bubbles out. I'm so glad, Carla. Thank you. This print is available in my Etsy shop if anyone would like to use it. Most do call you Duncan. <laughs> I sent you your package out, uh, Duncan, I think it was yesterday, I think it was yesterday. See we have a little bit of a wrinkle right there, I don't know if y'all can see that, so I'm just going to pull it back and work it out with my fingers.
I told Taylor about your the group, y'all. He's only been in here a couple days. I think he's finding he likes it here. Yes, I can put a link to my Etsy shop on there. One second. I sure can. And then, the same thing. Pull the vinyl. I'm actually going to cut that out of my way because it's bothering me. Yep, this is printable vinyl. Looks like we did get it off just a little bit, but that's okay. We can fix that. We have a bunch of wrinkles there, so I'm just going to pull the vinyl back. Reposition it. Pull it tight and roll the cup onto it. It's pretty awesome, right? So see, now we have vinyl overlapping vinyl. We do have a little bit of a gap here, but we're going to fix that, so don't worry. We could, like, pull it all the way off and redo it. I guess we should do that. We'll do that. Tracy, could you put a link to the Etsy shop in there for me? Just go to Etsy and type in tailored tumblers, spelled the same way as Taylor's first name. Uh, this is actually, I think this vinyl is Paper Studio vinyl. Alright, so this time, we're going to put it up closer to the top. Should be able to get it to line up right this time. Yeah, there we go. That was much better. So now, where these two meet, we're going to use our straight edge again. Cut right along that straight edge. Thank you, Miss Tracy. You're awesome. She's awesome, you guys. And then we pull that extra piece off, and now this perfectly meets. Now we did get a little bit of color difference there, but we can fix that when we add our alcoholing to the. Um, the epoxy. So now I'm going to trim off this extra at the bottom. I'm just going to push my blade in until it kind of lines up with the bottom of the cup. Same thing at the top.
so just cleaning up the edge I realize that this part is not all that thrilling for you guys I apologize See how pretty that is? Now this bottom part down here, we can handle that two ways. We can curl it around the edge like this and then use our heat gun to get it to like, it'll kind of cinch up around that corner. Or we have, I have an edging tool. Have you guys ever seen the edging tool? I'll drag it out just because you guys want to see it, I'm sure. This handy dandy little tool has been a lifesaver for vinyl wraps. Problem is, the last time I did a whole the, the whole bottom part of the cup, so ooh, that was loud. So you'll have to bear with me while I change the blade out. I have my little screwdriver. It's just acrylic, an acrylic, um, I think they're 18 ounce acrylics from Hog. So it has all of these little washers in here so you can change the height. I can see the blade right here and then all these little washers. So if I put the cup in there like that, it would trim it all the way up there. Tracy, not on a canvas, no. That's not a bad idea, though. I have so many big paintings, you guys. You have no idea. This house is, like, full of artwork. <laughs> I know I need a screwdriver. <laughs> but it's in the other room. This tool, um, I was trying to remember, there's somebody on Etsy that sells them. Alright, so now, you take some of these washers out. My kitty's here for a visit. So if you can kind of line it up and see where you want to cut. I'm just going to take it down to one washer on each side. And then you put your blade back in. Yeah, great. Get a link. That would be awesome. I know I bought it on Etsy, but I can't remember the name of her shop. And I can't remember what it's called. But this thing's great. A little dangerous and it really should have like a little guard here that would make it a whole lot easier because I'm I'm klutzy y'all you have no idea it needed bumpers yep absolutely Judy because it's hard to keep it in that little groove so bumpers on the edge would be awesome Bear with me one more minute. All right, now is when I need the screwdriver.
All right, almost done. Okay, so now you can see we have like the tiniest little gap between the floor of the tool and the blade. So now we can take our cup and put it against that blade and as we turn it, it'll cut the vinyl perfectly level and even. Okay. Now, if Christy did it right, it should peel right off. Yay! Look, it's perfectly straight. Now we'll do the same thing at the top. And that's all there is to it. So that's how easy it is to do a vinyl wrap. I want to say it's called a tumbler edging tool or tumbler edging trimmer. It doesn't have anything on it. But it comes with all of the nuts and the trimmer tool and a whole stack of razor blades. Cup edging tool. Yep, that's it. But I do wish it had some kind of safety guard because I have to tuck it in the bottom of the drawer because knowing me, I'd grab it right by the blade. <laughs> Wicked Shimmer, that's where I got it. Thank you, Nicole. I epoxy went all the way to the top and the bottom, yes. I was gonna put this on there like cut her out and put her on there but I think she's too big for this cup so we'll save her for another cup so now we've done the tattoo which is now completely dry and ready for resin now the lady who ordered this has one like it and she ordered this for her best friend because her best friend loved her so much and in the one that I did for her, I put um, pink mica powder in the resin and then also added some ultra fine glitter to the resin as well. So I'll probably do that same thing for her for this one. Do y'all want to see the ones we did last night? So this is a cup that we did a while back and we couldn't decide what to do to it and we've tried to do a couple things on it and so it has like some spots up here where we couldn't get the spray paint out. So we're going to do, oh you want to see what we did last night? So last night we did, we finished this one up, this is a, I call it the painted tree cup, but it's also called the hippie cup. 
it has a little little adult word right there <laughs> this one has been purchased and has a new home it's just got to get a coat of resin that that one needs resin this is one we did a couple of lives ago this was done with our Pantheon paint and so was this one with our new Pantheon paint Oops. and then for the whoa whoa goodness hello <laughs> peace love and hippie shit that's right <laughs> for this vinyl on this one I actually my whole camera mount fell fell sorry uh, so the, for the vinyl on here I actually made an, an alcohol ink painting and then took a picture of the painting printed that onto printable vinyl and then cut the pieces out that I wanted from it. It's pretty groovy, isn't it, Taylor? I like it a lot. I almost hate to give it away. Well, pass it off to his new owner. It wasn't given away. <laughs> so we did that one, and then this one we did from the other night. Uh, this was done with our Pantheon paints and some gold leaf. This one needs another coat of resin. This goes in the resin stack. This is one from a couple nights ago. This is a tattoo that was um, highlighted with our alcohol ink. And then we're actually going to do a peekaboo on this one tonight. And then we did this one last night. This one we used our Pantheon paint on the background and then put the tattoo over it and that's why you have that really cool streaked wood grain kind of look under there. Yep, it's sold already. <laughs> and we did this Jack cup last night and we used our alcohol inks to brighten up the colors on that. And this one glows in the dark, and this one is sold. And then we did this Nightmare Before Christmas tumbler, and we did that one the same way. Sorry, there's some chalk on there. As the other one where we painted the cup with our Pantheon paints and then put the tattoo over it. The thing with tattoos is you want to keep your background sort of light because otherwise you're tattoo will blend in you won't be able to see it uh, I think that was all that we did last night yep already sold two of the ones from last night are already sold but I can make you another one of almost any one of these. It may not be exactly the same, but it'll be close. So let's do a peekaboo on this cup. Because somebody was asking about peekaboos. I already cut the vinyl. This was cutting when I came on camera. I haven't weeded it yet. Twenty-four hour group. Lord, Lord, girl. Mm -mm. Nope. I'd have to take a Xanax. <laughs> I get nervous. That's why I do voiceovers on my YouTube channel because I get so nervous. I used to get so nervous I would throw up, but I've actually um, <laughs> actually gotten better about that. So when I do these pieces with a whole bunch of different pieces, I will cut my pieces out ahead of time and then weed them as I go. So the process for a peekaboo, depending on what you want, Erica, you send me some Xanax. Depending on what you want, like a peekaboo can have like uh, just a painted background or it can have a glitter background or it can be any number of things like this. I love this cup. This cup is so pretty. This is a peekaboo. 
So what we did first was we put, use the epoxy method, and we put gold glitter all over the cup. Oh, thank you so much, Tracy. Oh, thank you, Erica. So we put gold glitter all over the cup with the epoxy method, and then we put another layer to make sure it was smooth. Once it was smooth, we put our vinyl on, our vinyl stickers, and then we spray painted it white. And then after the spray paint, thank you, Taylor. We used our alcohol inks, our Christy Taylor Creations alcohol inks to dab all over the white paint. And then you pull your stickers up and then you spray with a clear coat and resin it. The gate's down. The gate is down. Jackie, my favorite epoxy is Amazing Clear Cast. I've used a couple of other epoxies, and that one's just my favorite. I know <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, I like the way that it gives me enough working time to do things, you know, like while I'm working with it. I feel really rushed with the quick set epoxy, so I tend to stay away from those. Um... We have to have a gate up because two of our dogs don't get along and if they see each other they'll fight and it's a mess. It is awful. Donna, thank you sweetie. Actually, hubby has been working on editing all the lives that I've been doing so that we can put them on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. I really appreciate that. So I'm just uh, weeding out these little paisley shapes here. Yeah, I have another one under my desk, another epoxy under my desk that I use for like uh, coasters and straw toppers and stuff like that, but it has yellowed so fast. So I don't use it for anything that, um, huh? Yeah, anything that's not colored. Like if it's going to have a lot of glitter or it's going to have a lot of paint or something added to it, <laughs> then um, I'll use it for that, but that's all I'll use it for. I mean ink, not paint. So see, now we have a nice little paisley shape there. I love paisley, but I've always been sort of a hippie. Mom always called it the hippie fabric. Paisley. And she was kind of a hippie. Did y'all know she took me to Woodstock when I was just a couple months old? <laughs> Rerun day. <laughs> oh, y'all are too funny. I know this is a little tedious, but bear with me. It'll be worth it, I promise. I tried to get it done beforehand, but we had errands to run, and then the, those errands took us longer than we expected, and then we got back, and I had to eat, and then I had to print all the stuff to do for the live, and yeah. Anyways. Usually I would have done this before the live, so you guys didn't have to watch it. Aw, thank you, Benita. Everything happens for a reason, right? I'm glad you ordered from, from her Etsy shop. That's awesome. She's great. I have a kitty here. You guys want to see him? He wants my stickers. 
are you doing, Rufus? What are you doing? Hey, <laughs> Rufus. He's a good kitty. We actually rescued... Yeah, let me try that again. When I was in California on a travel nursing job, I'm retired now, thank goodness. Um, that was during the the fires in California. There was one called the Campfire, and um, he was badly burned, the kitty. And so I rescued him and changed his bandages and all that stuff and nursed him back to health. And now he is mine. He's got to come check out what I'm doing every now and then. Especially if he hears one of these desk drawers open because I keep this little toy that he's addicted to in the desk drawer. My little doggy's not feeling good though. I don't know what's wrong with him. You can't even tell like he doesn't have any scarring I mean if he does it's under his fur but his fur grew back and everything so it's excellent he was in pretty rough shape when I got him all right we're almost done with these but then we're gonna get our paint on Thank you, Erica. Stuck in my hand. Kayla, this is um, 651 vinyl, and it weeds so easy. It's by um, StarCraft, and I get it on 431vinyl.com, I think. I think maybe we'll one more, and then we'll see how it looks. I do make custom orders. Oh, I would love to do a Rocky Horror show. Yes! Megan, yes! I love Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's do Time Warp again. See, I got really excited about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so fun. Gotta have the big red lips on there. Mm-hmm. 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 Just a step to the left and a step to the right. See, now you're going to have it stuck in my head. Mr. Frankenberger. <laughs> you started singing it too. Oh my gosh. My daughter and I are both huge fans too. And Meatloaf was in that. I mean, he was only in it for a minute, but still, he was in it. I've always been a meatloaf fan too. Have you ever been to one of the reenactments where everybody throws the toast and everything? I've always wanted to go to one, but I've never been able to go. Where everybody dresses up. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> My husband says I'm a weirdo. I love it. Ouch. Alright, I gotta grab some transfer tape. After I throw my laptop on the floor. This is my favorite transfer tape. Unless it's a, um, 
a glitter vinyl or a holographic vinyl and then I use the Cricut uh, Strong Grip. I did. I did marry him. Absolutely. I will send you the Paisley SVG. If you will uh, send me a PM to remind me. Now I know I don't want all these little because those will be a bear to pick off. I'm going to take those little dots around the outside off. I know y'all aren't all about watching that tonight. That would be tedious. Actually think this paisley I might have found in the Cricut design design studio but I'm not 100% sure let me just make sure some sure it's not one I paid for and if it's not I'll send it to you if it is one I paid for I'll get you a link to it And we have to be careful on this vinyl wrap because if we push too hard with a transfer tape it'll pull our ink up. So we just want to not stick it down any more than we have to. Normally I would have clear coated it, but I forgot to ask Hubby to do it for us. <laughs> See how pretty that looks on there? gosh, I love it. It's so pretty. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that 100 gave me. <laughs> you mind your business, mister. Be all up in my business. I just kind of stick the transfer tape down in one spot and then use my finger to curl it around the cup. Oh, I messed that one up. Okay, that's coming off. <laughs> yeah, right? Erica said, no comments from the peanut gallery, mister. No, he put his head buzz, earbuds back in and pretend like he's not listening, but you know he's listening.
I promise we're almost to the fun part. Are y'all bored? I hope you're not bored. Stick it in one place and rub it in a straight line and then carry it around the curve of the cup. Okay, good. Now she's got me thinking about a Rocky Horror Picture Show cup. What can we do? We'd have to have the lips because that's just the thing. Yeah, a lot of people don't show all the steps because most people, well, I won't say most. Some people wouldn't even sit through this part. Lost a flower. Isn't it pretty? Okay, I think we're gonna do one more small one. I don't have any more small ones. Okay, we'll do one more big one. Do it, Megan, do it. That's my daughter's name, by the way. It's spelled different, though. That was actually the way I was going to spell it, the way yours is spelled. And my mom was like, no, that's too hard. People won't know how to spell it. Yeah, I definitely like to do different things. I don't like to be the same as everybody else. <laughs> I mean, I try some of those things if I think they're cool, like this new thing with the dish soap. That looks kind of cool. I think you get some really cool effects doing that. I still want to take you guys out on the back porch one day in the um, in the daytime and show you how to use stencils and spray paint on a cup. That'll be fun. Oh, those two met. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hi, Liz. We got a couple of different cups going here. We're getting ready to do some painting here in a minute, though. And these we'll just trim off with our razor knife. My kid's in there. He's playing his, um, gosh, I can't think of which one he said he was playing. Anyway, he's playing an online video game with his buddies. They can get kind of loud in there sometimes.
Okay. I don't think it needs any more. Cleaning up my spot. Thank you, Megan. And then we will paint. Those are all stuck to my shirt now. I swear y'all, there's vinyl or paint or epoxy on every single thing I own. <laughs> Alright, so. I actually forgot what my plan was for this one. I'm sitting here trying to remember. Anyway, we'll just paint it. How about that? We could do another one like this. So for this technique, you need a soft, fluffy brush, and it looks like I forgot to rinse mine out yesterday. That's a bad, bad thing. Let's see if I can break it up some. You need a um, what's called a mop brush. You can use any brush naturally, but if you use what's called a mop brush, it'll give you um, less paint strokes. What do we want to do? Just cleaning out my brushes. Oh, I know what we'll do. These are our new Pantheon paints. Jessica, I don't typically sand my cups, but I will wipe them down with 91% alcohol before I paint them. Got to clean out my mess before I can proceed. some alcohol on this desk somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Tracy. Tracy's posting the info on the paint if anybody wants to order. Let's 
sanding between layers. You mean between layers. And don't be sorry for being a newbie. We were all new once. That is nothing to be sorry for. So you mean like between layers of glitter? If we're doing a glitter cup like, like this one, say, we'll do a layer of epoxy to lay the glitter down. And then we'll put another layer of epoxy over that. And if there's pieces sticking up after that, then I'll just use a razor blade and trim those off. But we don't sand after glitter because sometimes it'll take the color out of your glitter. It doesn't really have a high price tag because that's for 13 colors. But, um, so we would take a razor blade and sand off the pieces that are left and then do another layer if we need to. Slice them off, not sand them off. <laughs> this is a great alternative to spray paint. No problem, Jessica. Yeah, some glitter, it'll take the color out of your glitter when you sand, and some, it won't. I'm actually going to grab a cup holder. There, that makes my life so much easier. Now I gotta fix the fingerprints where I put it on the cup holder. I've actually seen people do that too, and I don't want to break the seal of the epoxy in the cup, so I do not do that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing it that way, that's just not the way I do it. And I'm not here to teach you anything that I wouldn't do, because maybe I don't do everything exactly right, but I do what works for me. This is our paint. You printed some cup stands. You have a 3D printer, Tracy? What? I want a 3D printer. Either one ounce or two ounce jars of the paint. These paints are made of earth ingredients so they don't have all the hazardous stuff that spray paint has and you can use them indoors have some hairs from my paintbrush <laughs> it gives very good coverage this is just one coat and this is with the brush that I forgot to clean out yesterday so it's a little stiff today see if I have another one here that'll work. Here, this one will work. Now we'll give it one more coat. Oh, there was pink stuff in my brush. But that looks kind of cool.
So with this paint, you can get some effects that would be more difficult to do with spray paint. Oh yes, definitely a better option than going outside in the cold to spray paint. <laughs> now I'm going to do the bottom. Now I'm just spreading it out, smoothing it out. Shannon, this is our brand new Pantheon paint. If you want to order some, just send me a PM. Tracy's going to post, post the um, info there for you. I released them before I realized that my website developer wasn't ready for me to release them, so they're not on my website yet, but they are available if you send me a private message. I'll use our business PayPal and send you an invoice through there, and we get them shipped out as quick as we can. The prices that she's put there is for a set of 13 colors. So a set of 13 one ounce jars is $44.51. A set of 13 two ounce jars is $68.71. So that's $2.98 and $4.50 something, $51 I think, individually. We've taken a discount off for this group and we're offering free shipping. Right now we have 13 colors and I'll show you those colors in just one second. Let me stick this over here and I'll open them up so y'all can see them. So we have a beige and a white, we have a turquoise, I flicked white into the turquoise so don't mind that. This is our light blue, light blue, then we have a dark blue. Red, orange, black, pink, brown, green, and yellow. I don't have a yellow. Oh, here it is. It's hiding. Yeah, I'll show you the swatches. There's our purple and our yellow. So that's all of our colors.
I'm not sure if you could use them in an airbrush gun. That's a good question. They're kind of thick, so maybe not. Here's our swatch papers, which are also dirty. <laughs> Everything on my desk is dirty. That's what they look like. <laughs> the hippie cup is my favorite. I absolutely love it. <laughs> this is the hippie cup she's talking about. This started out as uh, inspired by a painted tree. I don't know if you guys have seen those before. They're a very colorful tree with different colors in the bark. So now, I had an idea. That hippie cup's pretty cool, right, Jessica? Actually, just splashed water on it. Let me dry that up real quick. So let's do some dry brushing and then I'll show you how quick you can move on. So I'm just getting some paint on my brush and then wiping most of it off on my towel. I should totally do that. If I didn't have all these paints open on my desk here, I would. <laughs> Duncan, I don't know if you could use them in an airbrush. <laughs> my husband made me do it. These are our new Pantheon paints. Cassie. They're a chalk based acrylic paint. And I'm just dry brushing on some orange. He thought it was funny. Yeah. So now I'm just trying to get some of that orange out of my brush and I'm going to add some pink. You're welcome, Cassie. Just let us know if you want to place an order. Send us a PM and we'll get you an invoice out. I'm just kind of winging it, Shannon. I have a water slide here in my drawer that I've been wanting to use. And I'm going to um, design something that I think will go with that.
And then we'll add a little purple. I know you guys are thinking, what in the hell is she doing? Totally forgot to put any paint on the bottom. Alright, now I'm just going to dry it with the heat gun so I can move on. Sylvia, I will ship to you. You know your shipping will cost more than normal. So I'm really sorry, but the free shipping does not extend to Canada. You guys are expensive up there, man. But um, I will work with you, and I'll get it as reasonable as I can. I'm in South Carolina. Can't you tell from my accent? Yeah, we're in South Carolina. We moved here, um, it's been a couple years ago now, but I mostly grew up in the, sort of in this area. Oh, you're right outside Charlotte, yeah. That's only three-ish, two-ish hours, I think. Oh, I don't get easily offended. <laughs> Actually, I try really hard not to curse in these because I don't want to offend other people. My favorite word starts with an F. Fantasia. <laughs> You can still learn, honey. Just be in here and watching the videos. Ask questions if you have them. I don't mind answering questions. Shoot me a PM. I may not answer it right away, but I'll eventually answer it. I don't mind. How cool would it be if we did like a like a class, like we rented a um, hotel somewhere and used like their ballroom and everybody came and brought some stuff and like had people there teaching you how to do certain things. Don't y'all think that would be cool? We have those in like the art world, but I don't know if there's anything like that in the Tumblr world. Like a Zoom, you could do a Zoom meeting. That would be cool. <laughs> I 
I think that would be cool. Like use like do like a package deal. Like your hotel and your classes included, you know. <laughs> there is a Tumblr con, really? Holy crap, I didn't know that. Wow, that would be so cool. <laughs> I guess it didn't have to be all Tumblr related, you know, like I teach mixed media classes and stuff like that. We can incorporate some stuff like that. If y'all like to do tumblers, I'm sure you'd like mixed media. Like we could pick a place like Charlotte that's kind of sort of in the middle for a lot of people, at least on the East Coast. <laughs> or maybe Tennessee. That would be so cool. Everybody would have to bring their Turner though. I don't have that many Turners. The Greenville Expo Center would be a great spot, Taylor. Mixed media is like, it's like artwork that mixes the media. So you could use like a watercolor and acrylic paints and chalk um, pastels and colored pencils all in the same project. Multiple layers and papers and Mod Podge and all kinds of stuff. So this is what we got so far. I think I'm going to add some blue in there. <laughs> a whole bunch of drop cords. <laughs> um, I think right there on the foot of the bed is the one with the clock hands. If you go to my YouTube channel, there's a bunch of mixed media tutorials on there. I don't have any cup tutorials on there yet. We are getting to that. I have not done HTV on epoxy. That does not sound like it would work very well. No, that's hideous. <laughs> that was one of my first mixed media pieces. There's a couple back there on my desk. Uh, a couple years, Jessica. My heat gun. I've had this thing for such a long time. This. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, there's a um, black there behind me. You can hand me the teapot, baby. This is a mixed media piece. So this is like um, decoupaged papers and stuff on the background. And then this is our, uh, this is all our watercolor ink on the background. And then this is chalk pastels in here. And there's some acrylic paint. And this gold is our alcohol ink. So that's just mixing the medias. And then 
there's another type of art called mixed media assemblage. This was in here. Yeah, there used to be. This is he's kind of dusty, so look over that. But this is mixed media assemblage. Let's see if y'all can see before I proceed. So basically you assemble the parts to make them into something new. <laughs> that was a good that was a good segue, Tracy. <laughs> Here, babe, will you sit there? That bottle's a good one. And the statue that's up there. This is another mixed media assemblage. This is done on a um, whiskey bottle. We have shapes like this in our um, on our website. So now this is what we got. <laughs> the arts and craft show. Most of the acrylic pours and resin pours. Yeah. We also do acrylic pours and resin pours and resin art and all that stuff. We make molds for people and um, we've just we've we're just a creative family. We just do all kinds of stuff. the next episode. Let me dig this water slide out here. Whoops, I got so many cords going I can't get anything. that water slide. I know it's in here somewhere. I never have been able to just stick with one thing. My head, my mind goes 10,000 miles a minute and I have 15 different ideas. There we go. Found it. So I was thinking about putting this guy on there. I don't know if this has been sprayed yet. So instead of that, since that hasn't been sprayed, we're not going to wait for it. We'll do a, um, we'll put a tattoo over this. Let me close my paints up first. I would love if you guys to go check out my YouTube channel, and I'll let you know when I get those, um, the cup videos up there. Thank you, Miss Erica, for posting a link to our website. The inks are on the website and some of the 3D items, but um, the paints are not up there yet. If you'd like to order the paints, you'll have to send me a PM. It 
epoxy something. You're just dying to see my yucky epoxy room, aren't you? She is getting bossy. I like it. I like it a lot. You don't scare me, you know. You don't scare me. I ain't scared of you. I don't understand. <laughs> I scared you. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> Shannon, our site is christytaylorcreations.com and our Tumblr slash Etsy site is tailored tumblers on Etsy. It's T A Y L O R E D. Okay. My favorite epoxy is Amazing Clear Cast. I've used a couple of other ones and I just, yeah, Alexa chiming in there when she wasn't asked. Um, I've used a couple of other ones, but I really just like Amazing Clear Cast the best. Just find that black and white tattoo there. This one, we'll put this on there. <laughs> Nosy broad, bossy broad. So, I think this will look cool over those colors that we got going on there. Let us know what you think of it, Jessica. I mean, I've tried a couple other ones and I just always come back to Amazing Clearcast. Of course, I've kind of been on their design team off and on for a couple of years, so I might be a little partial to them. Yeah, Alexa, she is nosy, always sticking her nose in where it don't belong. Nobody asked you. All right, back to the tattoos again. It's not where this was supposed to go. But, it's going to look pretty. Shannon, I get my tattoos from Amazon. Just go to Amazon and type in temporary sleeve tattoo. water on this thing. And just wet it until the paper's nice and wet. And then I'm going to hold it with my finger and smooth it down so that it sticks to the tumbler. There's this one girl that I watch on YouTube sometimes. She's got some pretty good um, tutorials, but the way she said tumbler for some reason really bothers me. Yes, you can totally use alcohol inks with this. I think I moved my tattoo, y'all. It didn't work. See, not everything goes as planned. That didn't work at all. All 
right, I think we're going to set this cup aside for the night. Because it's going to have to dry before I can do anything more to it. Now that I've saturated it to do the tattoo. I don't know, it's looking kind of cool doing this wash off look though. Look at that, that looks kind of cool. See, you discover things by accident sometimes. I'm going to go with it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, I meant to do that. Totally. <laughs> I meant to show you how to remove one that didn't work. Alright, if y'all want to see epoxy, I have to go set you up in the other room. That'll work. Okay. Hubby's going to bring us a turner in here. Only a two cupper. He says we can only do two cups. I gotta make space for a turner. Accidents. That's right. Actually, I think it looks pretty cool. Alrighty. I was actually going to do a... Um, Oh shoot, I totally drew a blank. Galaxy. In South Carolina, it is, um... What? What time is it? I don't know. <laughs> this is one of Hubby's homemade cup turners. I love this thing. Yeah, 11 o'clock. That's what time it is. Precision is perfection. <laughs> the plastic still. Um, I don't even know where it is. It don't matter. It'll peel right off this desk. All right. So how about we we resin our hippie cup here? Yeah. The cup turners, Tracy, is that what you're talking about? You need one of these too? Well, we did look at that because, you know, he wanted to be able to build these for people, but there's, it would be so expensive to ship. So, um, we kind of decided not to do that. I mean, if you don't mind paying shipping, I'm sure he wouldn't mind putting one together for you. Is that better? The next ones I build will be different than these. A little bit. Just 
side and turn her back. Trying to get it up where they can see the turner. There. Now you should be able to see it. It's going to be all wonky. Erica says she needs one. No, don't touch it. It's good. That's got a delay. <laughs> she needs what? What? She needs a turner. He says he'll build you one, but he just wants you to know the shipping's not cheap. <laughs> so it won't fit. It won't even fit in a large flat rate box. <laughs> Where's the IT guy when you need one, huh? You are family members. You got your cup turner at Hobby Lobby, Jessica? left her lunch lady gloves y'all it's a sad day we have to get some off Amazon Home Depot's been out for a while yeah we're gonna have to order from Amazon I didn't want to because they're so expensive on there lunch lady gloves that's Duncan when he gets his cool black gloves Duncan where do you get your awesome black gloves we've been eyeballing those I hate these gloves too, I really do. Leanne, my hubby built it for me. Cause he's amazeballs. I can't seem to get them both in the camera. Yeah, this cup has been painted with our new Pantheon paint, uh, Hope. And then this one is was painted with the Pantheon paints. We put a tattoo on there, and then we used our alcohol inks to highlight the tattoo. We have, like, this one still needs resin. We'll do that off camera, though. Uh, this one needs another coat. This was also done with our Pantheon paint. This, this one, this was our alcohol inks over a tattoo with Pantheon paint from the background. And this one we just did tonight. Is it AC or DC voltage? AC. AC voltage. Well, yeah. Hubby mixed our resin for us, so it's all ready to go. He's awesome like that. That resin really makes those colors pop. 
This is a gorgeous cup. <laughs> Everything there is actually my friend has her and her husband did a um a YouTube video and they even listed all the supplies that you need to build one of these. Um her channel is Sandy's Organized Chaos. So you'll have to go check it out. They've got a whole thing on there where they teach you how to build the wands and there's two videos. One is the wands and one's the turner. He's hubby's going to do them different than they did next time he does them there. We want to have a separate um, switch for each turner. I know, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> So y'all have to look up uh, Sandy's channel and tell her I sent you. She's um, she's pretty awesome. She's super super sweet. I mean, she is a very um, what's the word successful tumbler maker, and she even bought tumblers from us. And I thought that was a huge compliment. She's mm -hmm. actually bought two tumblers from us. We just we were gonna sell them, but we just couldn't come up with a good way to um, ship them. So we just kind of let that idea go. Aren't they gorgeous? This one was done with our alcohol inks over a tattoo. And this one actually glows in the dark. This jack cup glows in the dark. And then this one, the hippie cup, was done with our Pantheon paints. And tie-dye vinyl. And tie-dye vinyl that I made. And I'll share that. Um, I can put that in our Etsy shop for you guys, too. That's a good idea, Tracy. Sure. He said, what if you just pre-drilled and set everything up and then gave them directions to build it? I could do that. He's like, yeah, that's a good idea. That's true, it might fit in a large flat rate box if it was um, not assembled. So I'm just taking my gloves off now. I'm going to get out the torch. And when you're torching your cup, you want to be, you're just barely hitting the surface of that epoxy just enough to pop any bubbles that are there and get the epoxy moving if you leave it in one spot for too long you're going to burn your epoxy and then that usually leads to having to strip a cup That's all there is to it. Now these are all set and ready to go. Isn't that Nightmare Before Christmas cup cool, Jessica? I just love it. We have this one's actually Nightmare Before Christmas too. It just doesn't have Jack on it. 
that has Oogie Boogie and um, Zeros on there somewhere. And it glows in the dark. <laughs> I do tend to be allergic to epoxy, so anytime I get any on me, I try to get it off right away. Bring in another Turner, hubby. Huh? Did you? She said, "Bring in another Turner." Have more cuffs that need resin, but the one with the gray ink. I can't wait to see the one under epoxy with the gray ink. Oh, I forgot about that. This one. I'm talking about this one. The gray. That one has a gray ink, and this one has a gray ink. You should just get it. Just get the tattoo and make it. If you love Nightmare Before Christmas as much as I do, my daughter too, she's actually, she's the one that told me about it. <laughs> Tracy says move this one and bring in another one. He's, he says we're too much work. <laughs> my popcorn burns, y'all gonna hear every word. <laughs> Say bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Popcorn. So, bye -bye. Hi, Molly. It says for me to bring you on camera. It says Molly Wilson is watching. Would you like to bring her on camera? I did one fabric cup and I did not like the way it turned out, so I haven't attempted it again. But I do a lot of vinyl wraps. This one had the gray ink. Gray and blue. And all of this is alcohol ink. He's grabbing us another turner. All right, I'm going to take this out of here. Because I need this pole and this cup. Try it, Cynthia. Aw, thank you. Now we're going to see how messy you are. <laughs> this one's the messy turner, hubby says. Well, the big one's worse, but... The big turner's the messy one, but this one's kind of messy, too. Your popcorn's done. Turn it off? No, I haven't been off by itself. If you'll just squirt it, I'll, I'll mix it.
<laughs> Cynthia, no, you wouldn't. That is very true, Tracy. <laughs> we were having, with our other turner, we were having issues with the cups falling off the turners. So hubby uh, thought about gluing these pieces on. We do, um, we have the pumps on our, who asked that? Jessica. We have the pumps on our um, resin containers, and they pump one ounce each. No. I can use a paintbrush, though. So for two cups like this, that's usually one pump of each. So that would be two ounces. Oh, back to what I was saying about the gloves. You guys need to wear gloves when you use epoxy because you may not be allergic now, but after many, many times of being exposed to it on your skin, you can develop an allergy. Awesome. Like hubby's not wearing gloves now and he knows better. He should be wearing gloves. <laughs> Think of it like a well, like I think I got this, I think my friend Crystal gave up, came up with this analogy. Like think of it like a well and you drip so many drops into the, into the bucket and eventually the bucket's full, but you can't drain it out. So it just, it grows over time. Just turn it over. Here babe, I'll take that. I need your popcorn. Sure. He's mixing the epoxy for us. He's so good to me. Yes, baby wipes and 91% uh, alcohol. Thank you, baby. Warm and warm. He's so good to me, y'all. Fish eyes are usually because, well, they're for a couple reasons. Fish eyes often happen if your surface is too slick. So if you use, um, I'm going to resin and talk at the same time. If you um, use like glossy spray paint on a cup, you want to spray it with a matte spray paint before you epoxy because the epoxy will repel from a glossy surface. And another reason is going at your cup with an epoxy that's too thin because it will it's too thin to like grip onto the cup and that's another thing that can cause fish eyes. Another thing is dust. Um, dust can cause fish eyes and like little bumps in your epoxy. If it's too humid in the room where you're doing your epoxy or if it's too cold, those things can affect the way the, the epoxy reacts. They can cause all kinds of things like it not curing properly and stuff like that. Did you get those root beers on here? No. Yes, I certainly am. He's a good egg. I reckon I'll keep him another 20 years. 
I don't know. Some days I kind of like to train him in. <laughs> He's grumpy sometimes. Of course, I guess I'm not the easiest person to live with all the time either. Always pay special attention to the top rim of your cup and to the bottom edge of your cup. We have like um, Rubbermaid bins that we put upside down over our turners as they're turning and then we also have a bug light that we hang above our turning table because we were having a real tart we got some bananas from Aldi and sometimes those are just not that great so we had a real tough time with uh, fruit flies there for a while I can't really get it under there I clean my rims because I like to carry my epoxy all the way up over the top. So once the cup is cured, the epoxy is cured and the cup is done, we'll come through with a razor blade or an exacto knife and clean the inside or clean the edge. And um, then we use, sometimes there will be spray paint or stuff like that inside the cup. To get that out, put acetone on a cotton ball. And it'll clean, clean right up. Cleaning. Well, we'll probably move it back in there anyways, right? And the torch. I just put something under the front. up a little and popping bubbles. Oops, I think I just ran out of oh, crackers. Yeah, these inks really look good. They're specially made for epoxy, so once you get the epoxy in there, it's like a match made in heaven. I'm done. Thank you, though. Absolutely, Erica. I'm going to bring the camera down so y'all can see those closer. I just got to get the epoxy off my arm. I don't know if you can see right there. That's an epoxy allergy. All right. There's a close-up for you. Now that's the one that we did the Pantheon paint dry brushing on the bottom. And that's why you see that cool sort of wood grain weathered look in the background. And then here's the other jack cup. We use the inks over just a non-spray painted cup. That was just a silver cup.
don't let me turn it. It has to be like this. See, there's one of our paintings back there in the corner. Way back there. <laughs> Just on my face, not on you. <laughs> yep, we put epoxy right to the rim. I think that's all for us for tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We really appreciate you being here. We appreciate the support. Do you have any other questions before I go? If you want a turner, you're really interested in a turner, just send me a PM and we'll figure something out. You're welcome, Bonnie. I'll see you guys next time.